Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. I have another offering from Siansky. This is model P25 version 2. Now, I've reviewed model P25 before, and it's a fantastic light. So in this one, what they've done is they've taken that already fantastic light, and they made it much much better I'm really starting to enjoy these Siansky lights a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll find out what comes in the package. As you can see, there's nothing left in the box. So starting off right off the bat, we have the user's manual. So we'll take a quick look at this. Feel free to pause your screen if you want to read any of that information a little bit longer. And then right here, this the discharge curve. Here are some features of the light. So I'll be talking about all this stuff in the video today. There's the power level indicator information, caution. So you get that. You have this little warranty card that comes with the flashlight. Okay, very cool. And right here, there's a little sheath that's included. This is extremely basic, just a basic sheath, just enough to get the job done. Velcro enclosure says Siansky on the side, nothing uh, fancy about this or anything like that. Just a very basic sheath uh, that protects the light. Now this light, you can pick it up in two different colors. You can get it in black or you can get it in this pale silver that we're going to see here in this video today. So right here we have a little package here and there's two replacement tail cap switch o-rings. There's a lanyard and there is a tail cap switch cover so very nice that they include that stuff with the flashlight right here we have a charging cable this is USB 2 to USB C so this is very nice we can use that to charge the battery that's included with this flashlight so let's go ahead and without further ado let's take a look at the light itself because that's what we're here for let's see what we got this is a beautiful color I like that again this is called pale silver very neat color there's a look at the tail cap switch. There's a look at the side switch or the mode switch. This is a tempered glass lens. And as you can see, there's an eggshell uh, reflector. And inside, you can see that LED. That's a Cree XHP70 version 3 LED. Now, you see this little tag that comes on the light. And the tag is basically telling us to charge the light before we use it. So if we unscrew the tail cap switch, you can take a look at the build of the tail cap and as we can see, it looks like a pretty solid build. There's the insulation film that we need to take out, otherwise the light won't work. And here is the included 21700 battery, 5000 milliamp hour capacity, and it's a USB-C charging port for this battery. Now, right in the center of the positive terminal, you can see that little hole there. That's going to light up uh, to tell you you're charging, and it'll also change colors when charging is complete. So very nice that they include a good battery with this light. And looking down inside, you can see a nice quality build, solid contact points. You can see a stainless steel pocket clip that's a very solid pocket clip. Okay, we're going to go ahead and charge this battery. You can see that this indicator in the center is red. And as you can see, we have a green indicator for the charging. So we know that the battery charging is complete. So we'll go ahead and insert the battery into the light. We'll put the positive towards the head of the light. And then as we screw down the tail cap switch, it'll go over that O-ring creating that IPX8 waterproof standard. Now operating this light is extremely simple. 
you push the tail cap switch and the light turns on. The light does have a memory mode. It'll remember low, medium, and high. It will not remember turbo. So right now we're looking at low. That's 50 lumens. That'll run for 25 hours. It produces 24 meters of throw and it has a candela of 144. Now if we want to switch through the modes, we just come up to this mode switch and push it again and now we're on medium. 200 lumens, 10 hours of runtime, 49 meters of throw, 600 on the candela. Push it again, we're going to get high. That's 800 lumens for 3 hours, 97 meters of throw, 2350 on the candela. Push it one more time and you can see that very bright 3600 lumen turbo mode. This will last for 2 hours. It'll produce 208 meters of throw and a candela of 10,800. Single press will bring it right back to low. And then again, like I said, if you turn the light off and you turn it back on, it does remember the last mode accessed with the exception of turbo. Now this light does have a economy mode so if you push the side switch and then the tail cap switch you'll come into a five lumen economy mode this is gonna last for 80 hours of runtime that's 3.33 days and then from here if you push you're gonna just go right back into the normal settings of low medium high and turbo now the cool thing about the economy mode is if you push and come to economy if you turn it off with the tail cap switch and come back on it will remember economy which is cool because a lot of flashlights don't do that now this light does have a strobe and I'll push and hold the side switch and you can see that we get a 1600 lumen strobe that is crazy now if I push and hold it again it'll go from strobe to SOS. This is 200 lumens. Now when it comes to strobe or SOS, it does not specify the run times on that. A single press will bring us right back to low. Now I wanna talk about this power level indicator. When I turn this on, this is gonna illuminate for three seconds. You have a series of colors. You'll see green like you saw there. That means our battery life is between 81 and 100%. If that green starts flashing, it's 51 to 80% of the battery life. If it turns red, we're between 21 and 50%. And then in the event that you see flashing red, on that power level indicator, that's telling us that our battery life is between zero and 20%. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and test the IPX8 waterproofness of the light. So as you can see, we are underwater and we can even cycle through the modes underwater. There's low, medium, high, turbo. Wow, that's a bright turbo. Let's try the strobe, so strobe warning. Woo, that is so disorienting. I like the pattern and that it changes frequencies. So as you can see, we clearly passed the IPX8 waterproof standard with flying colors. Okay, right now we are looking at low. Again, this is 50 lumens for 25 hours. And you can see it's a very floody pattern. Again, 24 meters of throw. Bump it up to medium, that's 200 lumens. 10 hours of runtime. I love the beam pattern here, 49 meters of throw. There's a look at high, 800 lumens for three hours. Again, that's 97 meters of throw. You can clearly see what's going on. And let's take a look at that turbo, 3600 lumens. That's a very bright setting, two hours of runtime. 208 meters of throw. Now strobe warning, we're gonna take a look at the strobe. This is 1600 lumens. It does not specify how long. That is so disorienting. If I long press again from here, we're gonna go into that 200 lumen SOS mode. And that's just crazy, 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 crazy. Single press brings us back to high. 
and then we can cycle through the modes again. There's low, medium, high, there's turbo. There's back to low. Now, if we want to look at economy, again, we got to turn this light off. So we're going to do the tail cap switch here, turn the light off, hold the uh, mode button, and we turn the light back on. So we are looking at economy. This is five lumens. This is good if you're wanting to find a splinter or something like that. Again, 80 hours of runtime, so over three days of runtime on that economy setting. So hopefully you enjoyed those night shots. So my final thoughts on this Siansky P25, the second version of it. This is fantastic. This is a wonderful light. Siansky is really up in their game. They are high quality products. I enjoyed this video. I love that color. The price point is good. Folks, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find this light. Uh, also, please feel free to leave comments down below. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a good light. With all that being said, folks, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.